Hello, I'm Kathy Birds. Who here has ever wanted to pet a service dog? Just give me that show of hand. I understand because all of us, even me, before I had a service dog, always asked to pet a service dog. It's one of the reasons I'm doing this. I'm the founder of Justice Speaks. How I got started was just that, is um, learning about the etiquette and service dogs, and um, I needed to do it. I'm a survivor of childhood trauma, living with PTSD and having a disability, and Justice is my service dog, and I self-trained her with a private trainer. We're going to talk about education of ADA law and service dog etiquette. Our agenda today are the basics of service dogs. Um, I'm going to give you three perspectives. There's the perspective of me, the handler. There's perspective of the employee that's a handler. And there's the perspective of the employer that's a handler. I'm all three. At the end, we're going to have a short quiz about this agenda and conversation, and there'll be prizes. Please take notes. Hold your questions to the end. I'll ask of you at the end to please think about everything you learned, share it with others. It's very important to share our knowledge. It's free. It's also important to talk about Justice Speaks and share that knowledge. Hopefully, by the end of this, you'll know and you'll want to donate or help support us in some way. And I look forward to talking more with you in the future. We're going to test your knowledge. At the end, in that Cahoots quiz, you can get a little dog. You can get the jacket, or excuse me, it's called a hoodie. And you can get a shirt. That shirt's a disability shirt. So it's got all the different invisible disabilities in words within that shirt. Cahoots is the game. That's how you get to it. There's the game code, and the winners will be announced after. At Justice Speaks, every day Americans with disabilities are denied their rights with their service dogs. We are here to educate our society so no disabled American experience these violations of their civil liberties. Justice Speaks envisions a world where people with service dogs can live without discrimination or barriers to their well-being. What is the ADA law? This slide has a picture of the bill from back in the day in the 80s, you know, when there was the bill and they talked about the cartoon on PBS, how they would go through and get a bill signed. And then it has a photo of our former president, George Bush, signing in to act the ADA law. The Americans with Disabilities Act became law in 1990. The ADA is a civil rights law that prohibits discrimination against individuals with disabilities in all areas of public life, including jobs, schools, transportation, and all public and private places that are open to the general public. I want to start with the perspective of a handler. Um, On this slide, you'll see a picture of Justice when she was a puppy, says, I know I'm cute, and then you'll see her as an adult standing next to me in her service dog vest. Title I and Title II of the Americans with Disabilities Act allows me as a handler to have a service dog. What is service dog etiquette, we ask? Well, it's paying attention to the handler and not the dog. It's not distracting the dog. It's ignoring them and constantly keeping the focus on the handler. A good example of that is not asking to pet a service dog. If you ask to pet the service dog, it distracts the dog and the handler. And it's very hard to get anywhere if you're constantly being asked for someone to pet your dog. So one of the pieces of etiquette is don't ask to pet a dog. Um, If it's not in a vest, it doesn't mean it's not a service dog. So I encourage everyone to just, it's very polite to say, that's a beautiful dog. Thank you. I guess I take it's the same when you have a child because when I had babies, everybody said, that's a cute baby. I'd be like, thank you. The next is the perspective of an employee with a service dog. Employees are allowed a service dog at work and reasonable accommodations must be made. What is the etiquette to that? 
I'll use me as the example for this too. My coworkers are respectful with boundaries I put in place with my dog. Everybody wants to give a dog a treat. Service dogs can't be given treats just by anybody. It really is up to the handler to give them a treat because that's who they respect and listen to. So when it's a constant thing of having to say, no, don't feed my dog. No, don't give him food, things like that. It's just a constant good etiquette. Don't feed a dog human food and don't offer, or don't ask if you can give them treats if they're not your dog. And this one I love, the perspective of an employer with a service dog. The ADA entitles, the ADA entitles me, excuse me, all of the ADA titles apply to me. Um, title one, title two, and title three. I'm an entrepreneur, so I own a business. I was an employee at the business. And obviously, I'm just a handler when I'm out in the public with my dog. In this area that I, I work, we do, it, we work with adhesives and vinyls. I use this example, those decals that are on the DIA buses when you go out and have to shuttle to the main terminal. Well, those are our decals. And they're not very friendly in that environment to dog hair. Dog hair sticks to adhesives and vinyls, plastics. So we put in an outdoor area for my dog to relieve themselves instead of walking way to the back of our building and letting the dogs go out in the back where they potentially, trucks and things are being moved around. It's not safe for them to be out there. Letting them out in the front. Unfortunately, where we work, a lot of people dump dogs. So it's not so safe when stray dogs come charging at you either with your service dog. So we had to do an accommodation so that everybody could be happy. People's work wouldn't get destroyed and or get hair in it and have to redo it because that can be frustrating. So we put in an outdoor fence area right out in the front. Wasn't easy. I had to call the city because you have rules and you need, if you're going to put in fencing permits and things, our city at Commerce City was very amazing and worked with us very well um, to the point where they didn't even make us put in permanent fencing. They sent me to Parks and Recreation and we got a temporary like little ballpark fence thing put in and it was very inexpensive. It was an accommodation that made so much sense. And the one thing I can say that I, I encourage about accommodations is um, it's costly to not make the accommodations. You'll miss out on hiring some amazing talent in your workforce if you think that accommodations are an obstacle or dogs are an obstacle in the workforce. They're not even a, an obstacle in restaurants, believe it or not. You can be a chef and uh, have a service dog. So. We're at the point where you can take the quiz. Don't forget to submit your answers to the test about what you've learned and for a chance to win prizes. Here's the Kahoots, Kahoot It again, the game pin. And all you do is answer the questions, fill it out and hit send. It'll come right to me. When at the end, everybody's taken their quiz, the first, second and third prize winners will be notified I'll ask that you put your address in the chat so that I have it so that I can send you the winning prize. If there is a tie, we will put names in hat and draw out the name in the hat. That's the name that wins. I'd like to thank Deborah and Good Business Colorado today. Um, we covered just a few uh, ADA laws and perspectives. There's many more. There's so many more to talk about and educate business owners and things about the appropriate words and language to use. Having training on those laws are important so you know the appropriate etiquette and prevent violations of people's civil rights. We offer education and training programs for schools and businesses. Please reach out to us. We'd love to either do a video, send a video so you can video train, or I can come in person. Join us on social media, stay connected. Please share, spread the word, as I said. Become a Justice Speaks service dog ambassador, please. Join us on the website. 
and start following us. We do some great things and you hear a lot of good stories about people and the different advances they're making for service dog etiquette and law. And last, donate and help continue the education. It's very important. Again, thank you to Good Business Colorado. I'll stop now and and all their representatives. I'll stop now so that um, you guys have questions. You can ask me and we have time to ask before this goes. Of course, I'm sure, Kathy, that you'd be okay if people reach out to you afterwards with questions about this as well. Seems like you're an amazing educator and advocate. Yeah, I guess my question is, Kathy, um, how can people follow up with you? Where do they find you? They can, questions. To, they can go to our website at justice-speaks.org or they can email me at info at justice-speaks.org. 